a video of that. Five. This is 30 minutes after I got out of the cave. Why am I so radioactive? This wasn't an accident in my lab, as some of you may be thinking. I recently went to Roswell, New Mexico to see the national championship air races. And while I was there, I swung by Carlsbad Caverns. So this is a place that gets thousands of tourists a year. And it's this huge, incredible cave system. And as with many cave systems, it has a lot of naturally occurring radon. Radon, as you might imagine, is radioactive. So I spent a couple hours down there, and, and here I am 30 minutes later driving down the highway, and I'm still pretty hot. But if you're wondering if this means tourists are getting irradiated all the time, well, the answer is yes. But it's also probably not as bad as you think. Naturally occurring ionizing radiation is all around us, from the rocks in the ground and, and solar particles in the sky above us. That natural background is with us all the time. And, and while you wouldn't probably want to live in a house with radon this high irradiating you 24-7, the occasional tourist is probably not going to harm them much. Unless you smoke. So kids, don't smoke. <laughs>